I'm starting a new channel for all my personal stuff. Um, if you like me, my personality, my business, my life, if you want to follow along, it's on my other channel called Jason Layton's Life. This channel, now moving forward, will only be wrestling technique, analysis, and just different ways to improve at wrestling. Thanks for subscribing. Yo, 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 I can use the rhythm to do whatever I want. Manifest freshness when I come. Show you deliberate rhymes that I show. It's a river of time because it flows. Watch your downstream. I found these mm, off the tip of my tongue. Yo, you shouldn't hang out around me because I'm contagious with the most outrageous way that I can blaze the rhythm and make you go crazy. Yo, you could lose your mind whenever I take a different perspective and break your psyche. Then I can bruise your spine with a backbender. Whack MCs enter, but do not leave because they do not believe. They need to practice, indeed, it seems. I take the microphones and rack kids. Multiple ways to break your back. I say the facts and MCs start denying, spreading rumors. Gossip, who started the rumor mill? Everything that I'm doing is ill, like a tumor will do to you. On an operating table, I do come through. No debating, I am able to do whatever I want. I'm the god of this land. Manifesting, manifesting the best thing since I'm guessing. Sliced bread, cause I'm nice when I take the tone. I don't know how to leave it alone. I'm on the throne, sitting so kingly, regally, royally, sovereignty. Oh, don't bother me. You're fucking annoying. Oh, Warzone is now one price for unlimited matches. We decided that it was much smarter, or I decided it was much smarter, to just get kids wrestling as much as possible. We need data more than we need anything. Let's talk a little bit about the math behind Warzone and how the weight adjusted rating system works. What does it mean to have a 100 point weight adjusted rating difference between you and your opponent? Well, the guy with the higher score by 100 points, the computer believes is going to win two out of three times. So we know that'll be a good matchup. If it's a 200 point difference, the computer thinks it's gonna be a three out of four uh, win-loss ratio between the two of you. If it's 400 points apart, that's where it's one out of 10. And that's pretty much the extent of where we consider good matchups. Don't get me wrong, it's possible for you to beat someone who's a thousand points higher than you, but it's very unlikely. Um, and we would rather put people in matches that are winnable and exciting for both wrestlers. If you can win one out of ten, it's going to be a challenging match, but uh, it's definitely exciting for both of you. The guy who's the better guy is still going to have to work to get his takedowns. Um, you can get him out of position. It, it'll be a good matchup. Anything higher than that, pretty much going to be a beatdown. I'm taking a lot of risks and I'm really going against the grain of the crowd. To follow the crowd, you'll be able to retire when you're like 60. Oh, you'll have a good amount of security. I don't know. It's not what I want. I want to be done by 37. That's my goal. I'm 35 right now. I made that goal when I was 20 years old. It was after I read the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. It was my first self-help book. And I've been super poor from 18 to 20 years old. And I had no plan and I kind of felt helpless. Like there was no escaping the poverty and life situation that I was in. And that book was the first first time someone laid out a plan that said look your situation sucks now but if you work hard and you focus the miracle of compound interest can can get you enough money so you can crawl out of the pit that you're in so at 20 years old I decided that I wanted to be retired by 37 lofty goal but I think I can do it my position right now I can't tell if I'm a millionaire or if I'm poor very leveraged. I have a pretty decent line of credit, I 
think at this point. Um, and it's either going to really pay off for me big or it's going to spiral out of control into a ridiculous failure where I've got nothing again. But uh, either way, you know, I've learned a lot and I think I'd be in position to get back to where I am right now much quicker than when I was 20. When I was 20 years old, I, I thought I knew a lot about the world, but you really don't know anything. As the years go on, you just realize that you know less and less. And that areas of knowledge that you know of are much deeper than you initially thought they were. Some, some areas of knowledge are complete rabbit holes. Wow. I thought business was pretty simple, and now that I'm like really starting to learn and get into management, there's a lot to it. So, yeah. There's that ramble. So what I would really like is to live a life of leisure. That's, I think, one of my ultimate goals is to do enough work now so I've contributed enough to society that I've secured my life for the rest of it and that I can live a leisureful life. I feel that to do that, I need to have 50, 60,000 a year coming into me on autopilot forever. That's, that would be enough where I felt like, okay, I can retire. What will I do with my life of leisure? Well, I will travel and I will snowboard and I will play the piano, and I will read books, and I will watch television and movies, but not just any television and movie, but great movies, and like great TV shows that are well-written masterpiece plots. I will learn about history, and, and I'll see art museums, and science museums, and I will learn, 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 and make new friends. It just sounds like a great life. I have no problem with working, but when you work in a job that's just the same repetitive loop day after day, where you're doing it just to make enough to get by and repeat, it sucks. There's no variety there and there's no growth. So that's why I stopped working a mainstream job and decided to go into business for myself. When I first went into business for myself, I did not start making money for the first few years. I was making enough to get by, but I was really eking my living out. I would say for the past, almost the past decade, I've lived on less than 20000 a year. But I've lived very comfortably. I haven't been uncomfortable, that, that I can say. I'm still living on about 20000 a year. Although the revenue has probably grown, has grown substantially. So it used to just be like, that was all I made and all I had. But now I make like somewhere close to 200000 and I have about 180000 in expenses. Now, these expenses are, you could call them investments. Pretty much just every dollar I get either goes to keeping me alive and the rest of it is going to the future trying to actively work with it to make the world and myself a better place. I can't make myself a better place. To make the world a better place while I improve my own circumstance and situation. Well, it's Monday and we have 19 signed up so far for the Kings Park War Zone this Sunday. Every weekend, it's a super stressful thing, hoping that I will hit the minimum number of competitors to give everyone a good experience. Um, we've been doing pretty good usually, but it's just very frustrating not to know how many we'll have. And I wish I could just have a crowd of like 200 that came every time. I wouldn't even care if they paid. It would just be like, all right, we have the, the mass that we needed to give everyone a good experience. What do you want to say to the camera? Uh, Hi. So, hi. Uh, have you ever drank a super <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here at wrestling practice? What are you here? We're going, we're wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> Look at these muscles, man. He's super strong, this guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
we have one week to prepare this newbie for his road test. Oh boy. Here we go. All right, so we got a uh, big man first time on the highway. He's killing it. And I am currently doing business from the front seat. Not doing a good job being a driving instructor. Looking down at my phone, I suck. All right, we're gonna die. <laughs> All right, good. He's killing it, he's killing it. He's in the turn. He's coming in hot. Oh. <laughs> We're going to Best Buy right now to get power over Ethernet cables for a security system that right now has been a disappointment. Where are we going? Are we parking close to possible? Yeah, I don't want to walk. I want curbside service. So uh, where, where's the where's the right side of the road here? You're just doing whatever you want. You're in a parking lot. You better not crash. You just into told someone. me. I mean, you All right, yeah, how's this spot right here? Pay attention. I'm stay on this side of the dotted line. You'll be fine. Oh, you did not stay on this side of the dotted line. Oh, you went completely you... across the dotted line. Uh -huh. That's all right. We're gonna go straight. We're gonna make a right onto Sunrise Highway. This isn't going. Do so you see well. the, the see the on ramp? It's going fine. So I'm about to get deep in the gnar. We're Dr. Murray. Negative 30 degrees at the peak of wind jump. Fun stuff. So I'm currently trying to schedule dates of wrestling events and I've got to look at the national list and figure out when all the big the big fish are going because I don't want to compete with them. Um, or maybe I do. Maybe I should focus on my small market with uh, beginners. I don't know how to do this. It's really hard. Yeah, yeah. There's no debate, I'm great, you ain't so Let's not go make a mistake that you can step to me Because the best MC most evidently will be Showcased when the flow's placed properly There is no stopping me Well ladies and gentlemen, the kid's doing highway driving now He's a professional at this point Very happy for him, we're ready for the road test I'm hosting an NCAA watch party at Dave & Buster's this year, and I'm inviting everyone on Long Island to come celebrate the best wrestlers in the country as we watch to see who takes the championship. This is a great event. It's a lot of fun. Um, all the kids get unlimited gaming cards so they can just play games all night, and it really inspires them and sets the dream of one day being the best wrestler in the country. I hope you'll come watch the NCAA Finals with me at Dave & Buster's in Massapequa. Leave it to me, indeed, it seems I'm easily above the meaning of the digging it needs. No introduction, call me the sinister minister when I enter the building, I'm corrupting. Everyone knows, both of me, your favorite politician, you follow and listen to all his diatribes. Why? I don't know, lose your mind. No, I think that when I do it, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be awesome, it'll be fucking amazing, it'll be great, it'll be great, this question is manifesting, blazing, yo. We can change it, we can chase it like a shot in the blue. Yo, I forgot to tell you who is in charge here. Call me the boss man. Indeed, you've got large ears. Because when you are wrestling, you weren't wearing your headgear. What's that about? <laughs> Told you I had a surprise for you today. This is the surprise. We're going to learn how to race go karts. Sound good? Sounds good. Will it increase my uh, skills <laughs> of driving? Probably not. <laughs> All right, we're back in the car. I was the victor, there was the loser, my favorite expression, in your face loser. Oh shit, he's not paying attention at all. Dude, you gotta look both directions when we cross the street, you just drove right through an intersection. <laughs> turn around. Oh, you turn back. oh boy, the in your face loser, he tried to take it out on me. <laughs> We're at the road test site. Brandon is going to be one of the few people in history that can say they made the instructor shit his pants. It's gonna be exciting. Will he come back with a smile or will he come back with a frown? We will find out soon. Three minutes into his road test and it has started to rain again. Not a good sign. This was not the way to pull over to the curb at the end of the road test. Yay or nay? Good or bad? Huh? Good or bad? Bad. I'm at the Suffolk County Championships. It's the semifinals, and someone has pulled the fire alarm. So we've got 
this nonsense going on. People have to stop their matches in the middle of the matches and go outside. Lame. So I've coined a new slang term for wrestling. It's a derogatory insult. It's called the Jenny. A Jenny is someone who cuts weight and worries about their weight against the advice of his coach. I tell kids, don't worry about your weight, just worry about wrestling, get better, focus on technique. But nah, they all wanna cut down and suck down 50 pounds. Idiots, you're a bunch of Jennies. Short for Jenny Craig.